to introduce myself. I'm Barry. I'm, Barry. I'm Phil. Yeah, I'd say so. Starting already, isn't it? If spirit is with us, can you can you use your voice? Can you communicate with us for your voice? over that back wall. <clears throat> if you're standing in the entrance, can you come closer to us? What was that? There was, when I went out to get top, there was, there was a dog barking outside, so possibly, it's got a dog, possibly. Yeah, I'm just saying there is a dog barks outside from where. May that sound again? Come closer to us, if you were here. If you're weighing us up from a distance, you can trust us. Come closer to us. Give us that little bit more, I know it may be hard for you. Do you hear a noise then, Phil? Yeah, tapping, like three knocks. Tap. Where did it come from, mate? Oh, it sounded like it was coming from you. That was spirit. Can you do that again? Make it a bit louder. Tap, tap, tap. It's like, no, it's like, it's like a... It's not like a normal drip. The only drip it is that. Well, it's when, like when, you, when you come, yeah, like a. If you're in the corner, walk towards this group of people. See your footsteps, come on. What? That was what? Yeah, like a very long, slow move. That's what loud did it sound like? Pardon? What did it sound like? It's like a, a, a moan, like a, like a groan. Yeah, not windy though, not a wind noise. Not a windy moan. <laughs> not, not a windy moan. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear anything, Tom? No, I'll get that. I think we're going to get... What? Mom. I just think we're going to get hear voices tonight, I do. do you, are you picking anything up as... No. You always say that. Even though he's just said, I feel like we're going to hear voices tonight. It's just a feeling. She hears footsteps all the time, I do as well. What do you think of it so far? Um, so Amy. <laughs> oh, no. That's a nervous laugh. <laughs> 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 I'm nervous, but I want something to happen. Yeah. Maybe it is. Do you, think it, do you, find, it, do you find it atmospheric? Yeah. Well, seeing as all the winds drop down, make a sound. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was Did you all, did you all both hear it? I heard a little bit of it, I heard it. I heard it. What, sounds like a child to you, yeah. I just heard it. Like really? Yeah. Did, is there any children with us now? Can you make that noise again? Can you laugh? Can you laugh? Can you make that noise again? Can you laugh? I think it's funny. That's okay. Can you laugh again for us? Did you hear yeah. something behind you? No, it's like a sound like over here. Yeah. 
Is that? Is that again? That's the one. No, that's the one. I thought before it was like a, like a proper voice thing. It went on for a while. Yeah, yeah it did. Yeah. So it's like a proper kid's child's yeah, giggle. Like <laughs> that's the way you might be Hey. If that was Spirit who made that noise just a few seconds ago, if that was you, could you do it again so we know whereabouts you are? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? There's like a shuffling down there. Yeah, that's moving. Is it the door? Hopefully. It sounded like someone's got a coat on. Don't is that all, Phil? Is that all there is down there? It doesn't lead to any rooms or anything, does it? It's a little, like, toilet and other stairs there. So. And, and that's it. that's it. Ring the bell. It doesn't work. <coughs> it does. Be more interesting if it rings. That, that's some blue slide on the floor. What? Oh, was that sliding on the floor? Sliding? Like well, a chair being yeah. out on it the carpet? It wasn't that rumbling noise, was it? No. Yeah. Didn't it's hear it. Moved. I never moved. Oh my god, you'd get that on video. I doubt it, couldn't I? Is, is this floor carpeted? Yeah. Is a chair being moved on the carpet? Well, I'll tell you what, no, I'm just going to scrape my foot right along the floor and tell me. It's like a little chair. Switch the torch off, Baz. I'm going to um, scrape my foot along the floor. Did it sound like that? It wasn't me. That's what it sounded like. Yeah, it was water. Can you open closed door? And the door moved. Did it? Probably just a chance. Yeah. But after I said it. No, that's why. Is that the first time it's done it? Yeah. It's so quite stiff. <laughs> really? Yeah. Do you actually saw it move, Ruby? It opened yeah, a little bit so you could see like the light. It's got a door through it. Really? And then it shut again. Really? Yeah, it went, it went yeah. like. Do it. It, it went, went. Okay, like that's. It went like that. Like, that's as soon as the light opened and there's a light gone on in that room. Yeah. That's quite a heavy door though, that, to be honest. You didn't bang into anything. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. It shut again. Yeah, okay, if that was spirit, you can open the door for us. Do you open the door because you want us to leave this room? Is that is that why you open the door? If you do open it again, then we will leave. Simple. What was that? That's, that's weird because that's. Okay, use more of your energy to open the door. You're doing really well. Thank you. Come on, try a bit harder. It's so strange because it did it on demand today. Mm. Come on, if you don't want us in this room, open this door. And we will leave. Okay, we're here on the, uh, the fifth floor of the mill now. Um, we've had about an hour and a half here. There's, I can't say a lot's happened tonight. Again, the weather has interfered with the investigation. We've just done one down in the engine room. There's a lot of noises, but again, because of the wind, it's so hard. If, if something did paranormal happen, it would be very hard to decipher what was the wind and what was paranormal. So come up here on the fifth floor now. Um, this is where they would have done all the uh, spinning. This is where all the workers would have been. And it's as big as a football pitch. It's, it's absolutely massive. There's no point me showing you on camera because the night vision wouldn't pick it up. Uh, the room's that big. But I've been up here about 20 minutes, done a little bit of calling out, can't really say I've heard anything either. Uh, I've stood in the middle of the room now. Um, but again, it's been so quiet. The thing is, since I've come into this room, the wind, the wind's changed. I can't hear the wind up here. Um, I don't think the wind's changed direction, it's not hitting this building or the wind's died down, I'm not really sure. But we'll give it a quick call out again and uh, let's, we'll see if we pick, up, pick anything up. Is there any spirits with me in this room? 
this is the room where you did all your work in. Is there anybody here now working? Any spirits that wish to communicate with me, please come forward. Give me a sign that you are here. See your footsteps. If I whistle, can you whistle back? <whistles> whistle back for me. Again, it's a little bit like army jail. You know, you stood in this room and it's like, you can well let's go back in time to what it would have been like, you can imagine all the chatting going on, all the hustle and bustle and all the bits of cotton in the room and dust and everything else. You can well let's picture again uh, what it would have been like to actually work in, in this in this room. That's for part all that activity. Um, I've heard nothing, I'm going to make my way now towards the door and go out because I'm just not picking anything up. So hopefully sometimes when you're just walking away Um, sometimes when you're just walking away, things happen sometimes. So I'll leave the camera running behind me and uh, see if we get If you want to make a noise why I'm leaving this room, then you're quite welcome to do something now. I'm going to whistle one more time before I leave. If you can repeat that for me, that would be great. Really? Yeah. What, a white one? <laughs> a white one? Like a yellowy one. I thought maybe it was a car headlight going past. But obviously we're too high up, aren't we? Definitely. You saw one too? Yeah. Like a bright what, yellow colour? Yellow? Yes, yeah, it was like something was on the floor flashing. I'm gonna while you're doing that, I'll check check out the window, you okay? Table being moved, like a drag for a table. Out there, in there. I thought I heard it out. No, I thought. Where did you hear it from, Tom? It's funny, isn't it? It's everyone's thoughts to everywhere and thinks it's that nasty. sounded like it was a table in there being I dragged. It, I thought it was where, where Tom, where, uh, Phil thought it was. On that room where the toilet was. Shh. I just heard the noise inside the stairs. There, in the other side of the door, I just heard like. Step. Seriously. That just sounded like a table being dragged across the floor. I'm not saying it was, but that's what it sounded like. If that was spirit making that noise, can you do it again, please? Maybe in a different area? Should we go to the other room, guys? Yeah, yeah. We've only out of time anyway. We haven't done it. That's it. 
I sounded like a table being dragged. Did you hear it? Where was you really? Where did you think it come from? Did you hear that? I didn't hear anything. Did you not hear anything? Yeah. That's what it sounded like. That's what it sounded like. If there's a spirit in this room, can you move a chair or a table for me? Because I honestly thought I heard... I honest, honestly thought I heard that before. Could you do it again for me, please? Please move a table or a chair. See, I think this room feels more spooky now. Is there a spirit that's been walking around with us tonight? Is there another spirit? Can you move one of the chairs that's in this room? Yeah, that'd be good. Come on. Okay, go and do it then. I wish you would. I, I wish I could hear what oh, I heard yeah. before. Just move something in this room, there's lots of things for you to move. Lots of easy things, lots of light things. If you could just move something for us before we went. It'd be very... That was weird. It did, didn't it? That was weird. It did, didn't it? Did, didn't it? Mm. This is what this is what I mean because you come in here and then you go out there and then you put noises in there. I'll go in there, okay. Um, it was weird because I was in this room and I 
obviously talk at a desk. Every chair so we move in that other room through that door. We've been went into that room then for about 15 minutes and then we heard a desk lid. That sounds like a desk lid in this room both. So I'll come back in here now and see if we get anything. A bit strange this to the last 10 minutes is going to be collapsed. Okay spirit, I'm going now. I'll come back. I'll come back in this room by myself. Can you make a noise for me in this room? Can you tap on the desk again? Tap on one of these desks for me. Move one of these slates on the desk. Just do something before I go. I'm here now all alone, so you don't have to worry about making it some type of game. Just do something for me before we leave. I'm not sure if you can hear like a clock ticking, but it is the clock is in, in the other room. It's the old um, clock in an off card that uh, the mill, mill workers used to use. It's quite loud and that's, that's still working. This fella here in the dark from the other side of the room looks absolutely massive. And as you can see in the dark is a black shadow with this black hat on. Really large guy. I presume he was a school teacher maybe or not as a school teacher now because this bit actually wasn't a school. It's quite spooky in the dark, this man. You alright dude? Can you move? Come on dude, move. Our night at the Lancashire Cotton Mill was once again marred by very high winds. It was great that the wind made it very eerie and atmospheric in such a large building, but again interfered drastically with any noises we heard during the investigation. Unfortunately for me, there was not much we could say that anything was definitely paranormal, and on this occasion it was a pretty quiet night. I think the most interesting part of the night for me was about 15 minutes from us leaving when we thought we heard a chair or a table move in the adjoining room. And then we proceeded into that particular room only to hear what sounded like one of the school desk lids was tampered with in the room we had just come out of. It was still an investigation I really enjoyed and it was great to be in such a wonderful charismatic building. Also it's good to see a part of British history being restored instead of being made into the usual flats etc. And disappearing forever. Thanks to those who attended and supported UKPS on this particular night and it was great to see Amy and Sophie on their first UKPS investigation. And thanks also to Phil and Eric for being there during our stay. If anyone would like to comment what they felt they experienced during our stay please feel free to write in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I will speak to you soon.